Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to look at this SAT exam question that I came across online. The first thing I notice is that 32 and 8 are both on your 2 power table. In fact, 32 is 2 to the power of 5 and 8 is 2 to the power of 3. And above we have a 5 and a 3. So that gives me a clue as to what I'm going to do here. I'm going to assume that 5x plus 3y and 3 are both powers of 2. Therefore I can write this as 2 to the power of 5x plus 3y equals 2 to the power of 3. If the bases are equal, they're both 2, then the powers must be equal. And that's what we've been given up here. We now just have to rearrange this so that we get 32x times 8y. OK, we know that a number raised to a power multiplied by the same number raised to a different power is equal to that same number raised to the powers added together. Here we have powers added together. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of 5x multiplied by 2 to the power of 3y. And this still equals 2 to the power of 3. Now, when we have a power that is made up of two numbers multiplied together, in this case 5 and x, and in this case 3 and y, we can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 5 all to the power of x and we can write this as 2 to the power of 3 all to the power of y. This is as per this rule here. This still equals 2 to the power of 3. If we now evaluate these brackets we get 2 to the power of 5, which is 32 to the power of x, multiplied by 2 to the power of 3, which is 8 to the power of y, and that equals 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. As you will see, this is exactly what we were asked to find, so this is the answer. Did you get it?